covering the entire Piedmont Triad and everywhere you are. This is WXII 12 News at 11. Right now on WXI 12 News at 11, after a gorgeous spring-like day in the Piedmont Triad, changes are in store for the beginning of the work week. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Veronica White. And we're starting off in the WXI 12 Weather Center with meteorologist Michelle Kennedy. And some parts of our area, Michelle, are going to be under winter weather advisories, right? Yeah, we have winter weather advisories for a good portion of the viewing area. The concern is that not only will we see a little rain in the morning, but then wintry mix developing sleet and snow on top of what we've got starting off early morning. So cold conditions will arrive as we head into the next several hours. We have temperatures now that are actually mild in the 50s and will sink into the 30s by noontime. Look at the shower action through 8 a.m. Most of it starts as rain for everyone and then a possibility as the cold air rushes in with a northeasterly flow of getting some sleet, some snow mixing in and throughout the day we may also see some snow patches from Mount Airy through Winston-Salem. Under half an inch likely for folks down to the south and east. To the north we could be totally anywhere from one to three inches potentially but on this latest model run it's moving through a little bit faster which we like to see and we're seeing it clear a little sooner. So all of that is good news for us in terms of the intensity of the system. And this is not going to be the same kind of thing we dealt with a couple of weeks ago, much less, but still a concern for precipitation that could cause some black ice going into Tuesday morning and some visibility reduction for your Monday evening commute. We'll have more for you coming up. And remember, you can turn to the WXI 12 mobile app on your smartphone for the latest on weather and also get the watches and warnings and interactive radar all in the palm of your hand. 15 fire stations were called to a battle of grass fire in a wooded area of Stokes County. This is a photo sent to the newsroom from a WXI 12 News viewer. The county forestry was also on the scene off of Pole Ridge Road. Nobody was hurt, and we're told tonight there's no threat. The fire is under control. Right now, Burlington police are investigating two hit and runs. This happened just after 12:30 this morning at the intersection of South Main and Sixth Streets. A pedestrian tells police she was struck by a Honda Accord with five people inside as she attempted to cross South Main Street. She described the driver as a teenager. The vehicle was headed in the direction of South Church Street. Hours earlier, a Burlington man was struck by a vehicle near his home on Apple Street near Hall Avenue. Police say this happened at 7:30 last night. He describes that vehicle that hit him as a dark-colored mid-size vehicle. And the victim was taken to the hospital for treatment of a leg injury. If you know anything about either of these crimes, please call Alamance County Crime Stoppers at 229-7100. In Winston-Salem, a teenager was killed yesterday morning in a house fire. That fire broke out at 8.40 at a home on William Drive. The 13-year-old girl's name has yet to be released. WXI 12 News is told her body was found upstairs. We're told eight people lived in the home. So far, no word on a cause. Looking ahead, the High Point City Council is set to meet tomorrow, and a complaint filed by a city worker last week against her boss could be discussed. It was last week. WXI 12 News told you about a complaint filed by Human Relations Director Al Higgins against her boss, City Manager Strip Boynton. Two sources told WXI 12 Higgins felt threatened during a confrontational meeting with Boynton last week. She says that she, they say that she suffered a panic attack and went to the hospital. Both have declined to comment. Now, the High Point City Council took no action during an emergency meeting on. On Thursday, and members also did not reveal what was discussed. Now to the latest on the developing story in the Ukraine. Today, Secretary of State John Kerry called Russia's military invasion in Ukraine an incredible act of aggression. Kerry said President Vladimir Putin should respect the wishes of the Ukrainian people who recently ousted their pro Russian president. But the fact is, he's going to lose.